வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் எஸ்ஏபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் வாட் இஸ் ரூட்டின் ஸோ வாட் இட் டிஸ்கஸ் ஸோ ஃபார் ஸோ டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் டைப்ஸ் ஸோ டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் ஹவ் இட் இஸ் அலைன்ட் வித் எஸ்ஏபி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஸோ டிஸ்கஸ் இன் டீட்டெயில் அபவுட் மெட்டீரியல் மாஸ்டர் பில் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஒர்க் சென்டர்ஸ் and to improve the understanding of sap and also to learn more about sap i created a group in telegram with the name lane learn sap with satyamurthy so whoever is interested to join this uh, collective understanding collective learning you may join the group now let us see the master data overview in sap before running any process or transaction sap we need to create a comprehensive master data whether it is discrete manufacturing or repetitive manufacturing or process industry manufacturing when we set up the master data in the right sequence it is easier so that the all the master data would be linked with each other with the predecessor and successor relationship the sequence of master data creation are first material master is created for the finished product and also the component which are going to be used and the raw metal which will be used and then bill of materials are created I mean which are the list of the components to produce the product and then work center is created this is the place where the production will happen and then routing is created that where the operations and how the operations will be created along with the standard timings and then combining this routing and the product which is going to be produced and linking the bill of material production machine is created so far we discussed material master bill of materials and work centers in this session we will be talking about routings so what is routing routing is is a sequence of operations to produce a product which means what are all the series of operations we are going to produce that is defined in the routing these are the various activities which are required to transform a raw material or component in a finished product the routing defines what are all the work centers and what are the operations to be carried out in which, in which work center it has to be uh, carried out and what is the time it is going to take and what are the materials which are going to be used and which are all the special tools jigs etc will be used in the production these are all defined in the routing the operation details are defined for each operation based on the production quantity production time and the relevant unit of measurement and we need to assign what centers in the routing which should have the standard value key hope you remember our discussion about standard value key in work center discussion where we have set up the the standard values like a setup time processing time production time tear down time etc the work center has to be linked to the routing there are basically three production types that we discuss in our first lesson the production types are based on what is the frequency of production what is the complexity of the production and what is the stability of the production these are three production types hope you remember discrete manufacturing production planning in a, a process industries and then repetitive manufacturing these are the three production type we discussed for each production type there will be different routings are used for discrete manufacturing standard routing is used these are created with the transaction ca01 the task type is used as m what is task type and how to use them we will discuss in the next lesson and then reference operation sets is a reference routing which is created so that it can be referred to create the routing common for multiple materials right so this is the base how that reference operation set will be used in this course we will discuss how to create standard routing based on the knowledge you gain from this you will be able to create reference operation set which you will be practicing yourself for repetitive manufacturing rate routing is used these are created with transaction ca21 task type is r 
Similar to a reference operation set, there is a reference rate routing which is created to create the reference uh, for the template for the rate routings. There is a difference between standard routing and rate routing which we will discuss later in this session. For uh, process indices, master recipe is used. These are created with the transaction C201, task type is 2. This is similar to standard routing. So in this course, we will be discussing about standard routing, right? So the reference routing and the master uh, recipe, these things will not be discussed in this course. If uh, time is there or somebody needs, we will cover it later. But as a regular course flow, we will be covering standard routing. So what are the features of the routing? To create a routing, the creation of works and is mandatory because this is the place where production is going to happen. Without that, we cannot create the routing. So creation of works and is mandatory. Also, multiple materials can follow the single routing. For example, you have a sequence of operation. Uh, first is a cutting, then a welding, then finishing. Many materials can follow this, right? So one routing can be used by many materials. And routing is used for scheduling and costing of operation from the raw metal to the finished goods. How the cost will be happening, how the scheduling has to happen, those things are ta taken care by routing. Routing is also used to calculate operation cost for the finished product. How to do the operation cost. This is very important. It's not only material cost is required to for the finished product, but we need to also know what is the operation cost. Right? So these are the features of routing. And SAP production planning has different levels. The routing, no? SAP routing has different levels in the structure, which are having like a header, and then you have the uh, header details, sequence details, operation details, and then you have the BYM component allegations. In this course, we will be discussing about header, sequence, and operation details and BYM components. The QM inspection characteristic, this is part of the QM module, quality management module, which is the concept is similar, but we have to apply some parameters according to the quality requirement that we will not be covering in this course. And then we have PRT and trigger point assignments. Here I will just brief what is PRT, what is trigger point. PRT are they are called as production resource tools. PRT means production resource tools. These are used for testing during the production or it may be some specific fixers or tools which are used to produce the product. So these are called PRTs. PRTs may be material PRT or it may be equipment PRT or it may be document PRT. Right? Based on the need whether metal PRT has to be created, equipment PRT has to be created, document PRT has to be created. To create metal PRT with the regular transaction MM0 when it is created, for equipment production resource tools PRT, transaction IE01 is used. For instruction guide or the document PRT, CV01 is used. Right? These are the three ways to create it. And then what is a trigger point? SAP trigger point is an object which is assigned to an operation in routing to trigger a certain function. We can trigger certain business functionality using these trigger points where an operation or production order status is changed. In SAP, production orders are created with statuses. For example, created, released, confirmed like this. Based on the change in the status of each operation, we can trigger another operation. That is the purpose of trigger point. For example, if there is a production operation, once this is completed only, next operation has to be released. If that kind of condition has to be there, using trigger point, we can do this. Also, when there is a rejection or a scrap is entered for one operation during confirmation, automatically a rework order has to be created. Then a trigger point can be triggered there. That is what is the trigger point usage. In this course, we will not be discussing in detail about PRT assignment or these trigger points. And you are suggested to practice these points by yourself. You know, there are a lot of inputs are available on the internet when you search them. You can find them and you can practice them. So here, as I said, we will be covering the regular inputs of what is routing, the header details, sequence details, operation details. Now let us talk about what is the relationship and what are the details which are coming from work center routing. As we discussed in the routings, the work centers are having 
default values, activity type, standard value quiz, standard value control, formula keys, all those things we discussed. Right. So there are many data in the work center which are there, which are going to affect the operation because this is where we are going to produce a product. Default values where we have the operation control key and these are copied from the work center of the operations. The control key determines what are the operations which has to be carried out. What are the functions of control key? We will discuss in the next uh, lesson when I create the routing. And then activity types are affecting how the operation has to be costed, which kind of activity type have and how the costing has to be carried out. This is you can define using activity types. Then standard value key assigned with the work center, they consist the standard value parameters like what we discussed now, setup time, processing time, labor time, those kind of things for which we have to fix what is the time in the routing. And then where the in the work center where the operation is performed, so we have these different standard values which are checked and controlled, which are carried out from these work centers. Also with the formula keys which are defined in the work centers, which are used to calculate capacity, scheduling and also costing. These are formula keys which are coming from work centers. So this is what is the link which is coming from work center to routing. Now you know how the master data creation sequence is built here. First when you create work centers, many values are passed to routings as a default. Okay. And then bill of materials. When you create the bill of materials and you are assigning the bill of material to your product, Initially, all the items from the bill of materials because bill of materials is telling what it is telling what are the components to be produced. Routing is what routing is that what is the sequence of operations the production will be carried out. So when you initially create the routing, when you assign the bill of material to this routing, all the items of bill of material will be copied automatically to the first operation, which is operation 10 in the routing. Okay, this is the default. At the same time. If you want to assign some component to different operations, it is possible. For example, items first and second items have to be assigned to first operation. For example, when doing the cutting, only some components are used. But when you're doing some welding, we know to add something more, which is a third operation, you can add this material, right? So in production process, it doesn't mean that all the metals you have to use in the first operation. Some metal may be added in second operation, some metal may be in third operation, some metal may be added in fifth operation like this. To have this where the operation the metals are used accordingly you can use it. Another example if you take if you are producing like a, a, a liquid manufacturing and packing. Another liquid manufacturing the first operation is like mixing. In this only the raw metal used to mix the liquid is used. That we don't use packing metal. But there is a second operation where there is a packaging we use the bottle and fill the liquid. So bottles are will be used in second operation only. So like this, which operation needs which material, we can do this in the routine. How to do it, we will discuss in the next lesson. Now this is uh, normally that uh, we you know, we will be interested to know that what is the difference between standard routing and uh, uh, this rate routing, right? Standard routing and rate routing. So standard routing is as we saw, it is created through transaction CA01. Rate routing is created with CA21. And the standard routing is applicable for discrete manufacturing. Rate routing is used in depurity manufacturing. Standard routing is created with operations where we have the production quantity is decided the base quantity for which we give what is the fixed duration time like a setup time, processing time, those things. In case of road routing, we define the timings first then according to this quantity, I mean according to the time that how much you have to produce, right? That according to the rate routing will be used. I mean the rate routing the, here the production quantities are maintained based on the individual items and reference and operation uh, uh, what is it sorry reference time is constant so rate routing describe the quantity of an item that must be produced with a given period of time so in given period of time how much you can produce that is what rate routing is there right and uh, routings are used directly with the production orders rate routing is defined and then based on the quantity it will be used the rate routings and then routings are standard routings are used for order based costing but rate routing are used for period based costing they are used for the period based costing and um, remaining functions remain the same like we have to assign the work center to the routing and rate routing we have to assign the standard value key 
and then in both the cases we can do the parallel sequence and both the types we have to, we have to assign the materials all these things are common thing so main difference is that this is for discrete and this for repetitive and routing are determined uh, where the basic quantity remains a constant time related data like setup time processing time are fixed but in the case of red routing production quantities are maintained on the basis of individual items and the reference time is constant like that it is fixed in the red routing so when you practice them the standard routing and red routing you will be able to appreciate this difference okay now theoretically when you discuss it it will be difficult for you to see that what is that but when you put them you can understand okay so in this session we discuss about the task types and production planning what are the features of routing what is the routing structure so what is the link between work centers and routing what is the link between routing and bill of materials and what is the comparison between rating and rate route, routing and rate routing so having understood the fundamentals of routing we will discuss how to manage routing in sap in the next session right, please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents as i told initially i just formed a group in a app called telegram the name is learn with learn sap with satyamurthy so who is interested in learning sap please join that group we'll be sharing some uh, uh, what are the points we can uh, what are the doubts with there and uh, where we can access sap and uh, what are some opportunities those kind of things we'll discuss in this group it is only for sap related discussion nothing else if you are interested you can join this thank you all see you in the next session bye